Ever since the rise of IBM-compatible machines in 1981, x86 computers have dominated the market for most of that time. RISC was around even back then, and ironically, IBM was one of the pioneers in this field with their power architecture. To digress, RISC was the predecessor of modern-day ARM microprocessors, which is now so common in mobile phones. On the desktop scene, x86 was still king, since efficiency was of lesser importance. Computers weren't really portable, so they could stay plugged in indefinitely. You see, the benefit of x86 has been its brute power. And when you coupled such hardware with discrete GPUs from NVIDIA or AMD, your performance increased exponentially. However, while that is still true today, the reality is that most people are using laptops or tablets. These devices are just far more convenient. This leads us to the dilemma of modern computing and gaming. Microsoft Windows is about to embrace ARM, with Qualcomm's powerful Snapdragon CPU on the way. Others are interested as well, like AMD and NVIDIA, who are already working on their own spins of ARM. Intel seems to be the only manufacturer still backing x86, but in reality, the company may be fighting a losing battle. The big question should be, what happens to all those x86 games on Steam and GOG? As far as I can tell, there are no ARM-based games on Windows. This may change as adoption rates surge, but that still leaves the entire back catalog unplayable on ARM devices. And this is a big issue, since Windows has the biggest gaming library of all time. By no means is backwards compatibility perfect on x86 machines. Some older games have issues on Windows 10 or newer. For example, getting Dungeon Siege 2 to work properly is a nightmare. You just have to check the wiki page to see what I mean. But at least we can play most older games. Windows even supports 32-bit gaming, which is something that Apple snubbed several years ago with macOS Catalina. For all its faults, Microsoft has always tried to support older games, and that's why people prefer its operating system. It just works. But coming back to my point, there's only one way for ARM to gain traction on Windows. It must have full support for all x86 games. This will probably be achieved through a unified translation layer. Apple has tried various methods to achieve the same goal, but apart from adapting a version of Wine to make porting easier, they have not done enough to make Macs attractive to developers. The fact is, they insist that games use the Metal API, which is frankly obnoxious and unnecessary. What's worse, they still prefer the walled garden approach, and frankly, nobody's going to take them seriously. Microsoft's solution should be to not be like Apple, but to embrace their own roots. Ensure that legacy titles work as intended. Make the process as seamless as possible. Don't let people figure things out on the fly. Don't let people rely on console commands. Just make sure that it works. If Microsoft can figure out the software, gamers will give Windows on ARM a fair shot. If it's just as messy as Apple, well then we may as well stay on x86. It's not gonna give us any trouble. Of course, even if all PC games work on ARM computers as intended, emulation is another matter entirely. As far as I know, there are currently only two emulators compatible with ARM, and these are Dolphin and PPSSPP. I do expect the other emulation teams to catch up, though, once Qualcomm releases their new Snapdragon architecture for Windows. If Windows on ARM delivers and becomes successful, we may see groundbreaking developments in the future, especially on smaller devices. Imagine the possibilities, like playing your Steam library on mobile phones. Computer gaming will become infinitely cheaper and more accessible to average gamers. If you found this video somewhat enjoyable, please remember to give a like because it really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.